Hello everybody, welcome back to Try New Things, where today we're going to be doing another product review. Uh, this one for the pole barn. What I've got here is Eagle Supreme Seal. Uh, it's a concrete treatment uh, for the barn floor. And it's uh, supposed to seal it and uh, keep it looking somewhat better uh, over the course of time and also resist things like stains and make it easier to clean up. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get right into it. Now in order to uh, prepare for putting the, the Eagle seal down, uh, what I did today or earlier this morning was sweep the garage floor or the pole barn floor and then I vacuumed and then I mopped it twice. It's uh, probably not perfect but it's a heck of a lot cleaner than it started out this morning. Uh, you can see over on the other half of the barn where I've put everything for now uh, you can see the transition in the floor. It's amazing how dirty and dusty a shop or garage floor gets in just a short period of time. I talked to the folks at Eagle, uh, called them up and asked them how long should you wait before you use the sealer on a new floor and uh, they said minimum 30 days recommended 60 days and I'm a little over 60 days, so we should be good. So hold tight, sit back. I'm gonna grab the equipment that I'm gonna to use to uh, spread out the Eagle Supreme Seal, and uh, we're gonna get started and uh, do the first half of the pole barn. Once it's had a chance to cure and dry, I'll move the stuff to this half of the barn and then do the other half. But let's get the equipment ready and let's get started. So this is gonna be the setup for uh, spreading the sealant on the floor today. I got an 18 inch roller uh, from Purdy and a roller extension stick, as well as a deep and, uh, and wide uh, paint roller tin, I guess you would call it, although that one's made out of plastic, uh, also by Purdy. Got all that on Amazon, but uh, Figured I wanted something with a pole versus crawling around on my hands and knees and uh, 18 inches wide should be able to make quick work of this job. So I'm going to get started and pour a little bit of the Eagle Supreme Seal into the tray and start spreading it out on the floor. All right, a couple initial observations already. One, the product goes down extremely easy. It makes a nice, clean, consistent coat. Uh, but the second thing, probably more important, is it definitely has uh, a fairly strong paint-like odor. So my recommendation is when you're using this product, if you can leave the doors and windows open, uh, I certainly recommend you do that. It'll probably also help with drying and curing. Uh, but I'm going to continue here behind me and I'm going to spread this out and when I'm all done I'll, uh, I'll get the camera back out and show you how it's turned out and then tomorrow we'll come back after it's had a chance to dry for a day because it's supposed to be a, a shiny finish uh, so we'll see what kind of finish it really has after it's had a chance to, uh, to cure overnight. So hang in there and uh, the next clip will be the uh, half the garage floor complete. Alright folks that didn't take very long at all. Uh, you can see the reflection of the purlins uh, in the floor so it's it's shiny for sure right now uh, over here you can see where I haven't done and then starting at that uh, expansion joint cut uh, I started to treat the floor so there's a nice reflection of the great outdoors as we make our way around you can see but I've got about half of the pole barn completed so far. One thing I will note uh, right from the start is uh, don't paint yourself in a corner. This stuff gets quite tacky quite fast, believe it or not. So 
Uh, I did a little spill and uh, came back and stepped on it a few minutes later uh, in a place that I was going to go back over again and uh, yeah it was pretty sticky. So uh, in the next clip we're gonna well we're gonna leave it here for today but in the next clip uh, to end this video uh, I'll come back tomorrow and uh, film what it looks like after an evening of drying and curing and see if it still has that shine and luster but Overall, it was easy to put down, uh, easy to spread. It does leave a little bit of streaking uh, in the floor. Maybe that'll go away as it dries or seeps into the concrete. Not quite sure yet, but uh, anyway, we'll find out tomorrow. So with that, uh, stay tuned for the next clip where we'll wrap it up with the, uh, the following day summary. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the last clip of this episode. Uh, it's the next morning and I'm back out here at the barn again today. And you can see that uh, the floor has definitely retained its shine. I've got a good contrast there from where I completed yesterday and where I haven't started uh, in the right side of your screen where the trash can is that is yet to be treated. Uh, opened up the garage door or the barn door this morning and it is raining outside so I apologize for the light but uh, one thing I did notice is that on the stoop where I treated it last night uh, the water is definitely beaded uh, on the surface versus being absorbed into the concrete so it does provide somewhat a uh, I guess an agrophobic finish so I'm hoping that'll help with any spills that may happen in the future making it easier to clean up but anyway, can't tell you how this is going to stand up over time, uh, but I can tell you I'm very pleased with the product, uh, initially at least. It does leave a somewhat inconsistent finish, but that's also the inconsistency in the finish of the concrete as well shows through. So, don't know if it's so much the product as, as the finish on my floor. Uh, but I'm going to end it here and... Uh, move the, my stuff over to the finished portion of the floor and uh, get ready to start finishing the rest of the barn. So please take the time to like and subscribe, leave some comments, questions below, uh, and until next time, bye bye All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the next day uh, back out at the barn. Oh, my lighting is terrible.